Good afternoon and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here from Beaumont's very own Cigar Club. Last week we gave you a little tease about what was coming up. And for all of you who took advantage of our My Father's Day giveaway promotion, we'll be promoting all the cigars from My Father's Cigars. Uh, what we have here is, I even said, a, a related br brand. And I do mean related. Many, many, many years ago, a guy by the name of Pete Johnson. Pete was the tobacco buyer for Grand Havana Room in Los Angeles, and Pete decided that he wanted to start his own brand of cigars. Uh, so he went to Don Pepin Garcia, now of my father and the Don Pepin fame, and created the brand Tatuaje. Now, we've carried Tatuaje here before. It has been a while since we've had it on the shelves, but there were a couple of new things that popped up, and we decided let's bring him in and give it a shot and see what you guys and gals think about what old Pete Johnson and the crew down at uh, Tabacalera, my father, are getting up to these days. Now, back in 2007, Pete launched the Tatuaje Havana 6 Veracu. So Veracu was a line extension of the Havana 6, supposed to be a fuller bodied version of Havana 6. And Havana 6 was what, in the original two releases of Tatuaje, was just known as the red label. So this now has that same red label with that secondary band that says Veracu. So Veracu was, this one was launched in 2007, uh, and it was meant to be a, a, a fuller bodied version of the Havana 6. It's a uh, Habano um, a squirrel wrapper, I believe, Nicaraguan Habano a squirrel wrapper. That is on the Veracu. So that was the, the Maduro version of the original Havana 6 line, if you will. Now there is a brand new Veracu altogether, and that is the Veracu Blue that we have over here. Both of these are the number one is what they call the size. So this would be Veracu number one. This is Veracu Blue number one. So the blue is neat in that it has a Corojo 99 wrapper on that Veracu blend. Uh, and this one is very, very new. I think it's only been within the last year that this one has released. Uh, I haven't had a chance to smoke it yet, uh, but I do have one pulled, and I hopefully I'll be getting to that this weekend. Uh, but both of these available now. Uh, again, the, the somewhat older Veracu Red and the brand new Veracu Blue. Now, another big thing from Tatuaje over the years has been the Kohonu line. Now, if that term, if that phrase kohunu doesn't ring a bell, maybe the term cojones might sound a little bit more familiar. So kohunu is supposed to imply ballsy for how strong the blend is. And the kohunus were coming out every three years or so. Uh, the last one that I remembered coming out was the 2013. Uh, and some, for whatever reason, there was supposed to be a 15 and an 18, and neither of them happened. Well, last year, they finally got around to releasing the 2015, and this year, they're finally releasing the 2018, which is the one you see right here in front of me. Now, when it comes to the Kohonu series, you usually have one of two wrappers. It's either a Habano wrapper or a Sumatra wrapper. This is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper on this Kohonu blend, and this is the latest of the bunch. This is just hitting market literally within the last couple of weeks. Uh, so this is brand new. Uh, we've been a big fan of the Kohonu line for a long time. Uh, there's even a famed story about three cigar club employees spending a Sunday afternoon with the goal of smoking an entire box of 2013 Kohonus. And uh, we almost got there. We got 19 of the 25 sticks down in about a 12-hour span. But we wouldn't spend our time trying to smoke a whole box of cigars if it wasn't a blend that we all really very much liked. Uh, so with this new incarnation of the Kohonu, I'm sure this is going to be as good, if not even better, than the previous releases. Uh, if it's that good, maybe we'll try it someday and sit down and smoke a whole box of these in an afternoon as well. But for the time being, we've only got two of them, so we'll hold off on that to make sure there's plenty here on the shelves for each of you to come by and see what Pete Johnson is up to uh, with this My Father Factory created product. Uh, so come by and check them out. Get them while you can. I will probably be keeping the, at least these around. And if there's some demand uh, for some of the other TAT products, and you guys and gals really let us know that y'all like these and like what's happening here, it uh, wouldn't be any problem to see some more of this stuff on the shelves here in the days to come. But y'all got to come check it out. Smoke it. Let us know what you think. And if you dig it, then we'll get you some more of it. Uh, so that's going to wrap us up for this week's edition of the Humidor Report. Come by and see us. Check out the new Tatawahe product. And again, we're moving into PCA season. That's happening in the next week or so. Uh, so all the new product for the next six to eight months is going to be announced here in the next few weeks. I have already heard about a few things. You may have even seen some of this information out there. A $100 cigar from one of our Venral manufacturers, uh, maybe even Rocky Patel might have something along those lines coming. But that's nothing compared to what Oliva's up to with a new $300 cigar.
coming to market. So this is just a few of the tidbits that are leaking out in advance of the trade show. We're going to get more details on those products. We'll get names, we'll get blend compositions, and all the new releases from everybody else here in the Humidor. And we're going to be bringing you as much of that information uh, as we can here in the Humidor Reports as it rolls out over the next couple of weeks. For now, that's going to wrap us up for this week's edition. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications if you haven't done so yet. And make sure you tune in here each and every week to see what is hip and happening at Cigar Club Southeast Texas. And until next week, I'm Justin, and we'll see you at the club.